Undoubtedly, you have heard of some rule changes that are in the works for the real estate industry, unless maybe you live under a rock. Well, are they good or bad? It depends on the individual's perception, I suppose, because as we know, a person's perception is their reality. As many a video have flooded the social channels, most of which are just blatantly incorrect and others are just misleading or deliberately causing panic and confusion to gain higher views and ratings, allow me to break it down exactly what is going on in simple terms that even I would say a fifth grader could understand it. Without further ado, listen up. So there's this big group called the NAR or the National Association of Realtors. And they made this deal about how much money an agent can get when they sell houses. Now, this deal has some rules and it will start around July 2024, assuming the proposal is accepted. Because at the moment of filming this video, none of these rules are currently in effect or approved. However, I believe that they will be taking effect. Now let me break down these rules for you. First up, when an agent helps someone buy a house, they will now have to sign a document called a buyer's compensation agreement with the buyer first. And I have one right here just for reference. It's a two-page document, at least in Oklahoma. It might be different in other states. However, this paper has to say how much money that I would be getting as your buyer's agent. And it can't be a secret. Not that it really ever was, but agents as a whole undoubtedly have not done a good enough job explaining how we get paid. Now this rule will also stop buyers in their tracks though from running out and looking at houses right away because they will need to have a consultation with their real estate agent and have this agreement signed and in place before any showings can happen. Next up, agents can't offer money to other agents on the MLS, the main source of all real estate information. But if a seller wants to give a gift to the buyer, they can say it in the public comment boxes it's like saying, hey buyer, here's a gift, but by the way, it's, it's not for your real estate agent. And as funny as it sounds, this is what I feel is going to become the new normal. The amount of money gifted to the buyer can be used for anything that the buyer sees fit. It just can't be labeled that it's specifically for the buyer's agent. Now currently this actually happens all the time and people don't realize it in their home buying process, but we call this seller concessions. And these concessions usually consist of closing costs or title fees, lending fees, uh, inspections, appraisals, literally anything that the buyer deems fit. However, I think buyers will now be adding brokerage fees and commissions to that list. Now sellers and sellers agents can still offer money to other agents outside of the MLS, but it has to be through like texts or emails, but they also have to tell the seller first that they're gonna do it and make sure that the seller's okay with it. Now brokers can also put how much they're willing to pay other agents on their own websites as well. It just can't be on the MLS. Now lastly, agents have to tell everyone that the money they get from selling a house is not set in stone. It is up for negotiation. And this rule has to be in all of the forms that an agent uses which is kind of dumb considering that's the way it's literally always been. And fees and commissions have always been negotiable as with most commission based service industries. But I guess the courts just wanted to make it abundantly clear how real estate agents are paid. And that's the gist of it. Just some new rules to make sure everyone knows what's going on in the world of buying and selling houses. Now, while these new rules may cause more confusion than good, I think it will be a little bit rocky for a bit, but everyone, agents, buyers, brokers, and sellers will all adapt as we always have in an ever-changing real estate industry. While I did leave out all of the legalese, you now have a good understanding of these rule changes and you can hold your own when battling it out with all those keyboard warriors in the comments. If you'd like to know more about how agents are paid and how the commission is broken down, feel free to check out my other YouTube video, How a Real Estate Agent is Paid. And that's all I got for now and I'll see you in the next one.